Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and students today we are going to do the pricing mcqs pricing methods or strategies which is very important for ibps so marketing mains exam and that's what we are going to do today right my name is Ramandeep Singh and i've been teaching on bank exam today from last 12 years now and this is a whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts you can join the ibps so marketing mains course on bankexamstudy.com links are available in the description okay so let's start the session. What is the main advantage of target profit pricing? Target profit pricing. What is target profit pricing? So you are setting a target profit. So there is a target profit. It allows the companies to set the prices based upon target profit. So you are setting a profit. So let's say your target profit for a month is 100,000, right? This is 1 lakh rupees of target. Hai. Units sold is let's say 1000. So you are going to have a profit of 100 rupees per unit. So this kind of uh, strategy is useful where the elasticity of demand is in inelastic. Okay, demand inelastic hai, price bada ghata rahe ho, utna zyada effect nahi hai, theke? So what is marginal cost pricing and what is the main idea? What is marginal cost pricing in case of airline business? Airline ke business mein ya in case of hotels. What happens is in case of airlines, they have already incurred a fixed cost. They have purchased the aircraft. They have uh, already paid for the, uh, you know, uh, to the airports. They have already paid for that. The major expenses are fixed and they have already paid for that. Now they they are paying just for the fuel. So in case of airline students, fixed costs I already told you have been incurred and now they uh, the extra the marginal cost for additional one passenger for additional one passenger. What is the extra cost that airline is incurring? Okay, so that's the concept. So what the airline is trying to do is the airline is trying to maximize its revenue. Although they have to sell the tickets at very low cost, they want to cover their variable cost, right? But they want to maximize their revenues. So here they are using marginal cost pricing method. So setting the price of a product equal to the extra cost. What do you mean by extra cost? Marginal cost. What is marginal cost? So if one additional passenger is there, uh, what extra cost would be there to serve or uh, to, to give the ticket to give the service to the additional one passenger? If the whole plane has 200 capacity, hai, 190 people are sitting there, then anyways, they don't have to go So for the rest of the 10 tickets, they can sell it at steep discount. Okay, so that is the concept. Setting the price of a product equal to the extra cost or the marginal cost of producing an extra unit of output. So that is the concept of marginal cost pricing. What are the two stages of activity based costing? So what is activity based costing? Let's say in a bakery, there is a bakery. In a bakery, uh, there are two types of products, cakes and let's say biscuits. Cakes and biscuits. For one kg of cake, uh, let's say uh, you need to bake it for let's say two hours two hours and for one kg of biscuits you need to bake it for just one hour okay so electricity used is two units in case of cakes and one unit in case of biscuits so we are going to allocate one unit of electricity to biscuits and two unit of L uh, two unit of electricity to cakes right so let's say a unit of electricity is equal to 10 rupee. 10 rupee cost is equal for the biscuits and 20 rupee electricity cost to the cakes. So we are allocating the cost according to the activity. So we are identifying the activities and assigning the cost to the cost pools. Okay. And then allocating the cost from the cost pool to the cost objects using cost drivers. So very simple concept. This is the concept uh, explained in a very easy language, easily understandable language. Cakes ko, uh, uh, produce karne ke liye, manufacture karne ke liye. Do ghante lagte hain, do ghante bake karna badega cake ko. Or biscuit ek kilo banane ke liye, ek ghanta lagta hai. 
सो so, केक बनाने के लिए दो यूनिट लगते हैं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी के बिस्किट बनाने के लिए एक यूनिट लगता है सो इफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का प्राइस इज टेन रुपी पर यूनिट सो ट्वेंटी रुपी पर के जी केक का कॉस्ट हो गया इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जो एलोकेट हो जाएगी बिस्किट पर टेन टेन रुपी हो जाएगी ओके सो दैट इज एक्टिविटी बेस्ड कॉस्टिंग यू आइडेंटिफाई इट एंड देन यू एलोकेट इट वट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लाइन ओरिएंटेड प्राइसिंग so a very good example would be iPhones so recent iPhone 15 series you can see so there is 15 15 plus 15 pro pro max right so uh, variety of features are there chipset अलग है screen quality is different right and they are charging different prices for variations so that is product line pricing for iPhone 15 very good example latest example a smartphone company का example है coffee shop when you go to starbucks uh, there are some variations for the same product for in different sizes and in when you go to starbucks there's a grande latte and all so a clothing store that sells different brands and styles of clothes at different prices a good example would be us polo and us polo denim the prices are different the same goes for uh, tommy and a lot of brands are there armani armani exchange is a cheaper variation of armani right so the the price of armani exchange is much lower it's around 2 3000 rupees per shirt while the armani is like 7 8 9000 okay so that's the example of product line oriented pricing uh, what is the main challenge of setting prices uh, setting the tender price what is tender pricing so uh, in case of construction contract sarkari construction contract government construction contract contract of uh, building roads various uh, you know companies they they place their bids right so they place their bids the bid should be profitable to them it should be competitive they need to provide quality they need to meet the deadlines right so balancing between competitiveness and the being profitable uh, estimating the cost and the risk involved very important justifying the price and value to the buyer or the procurement authority these are the various challenges that tender price in case of these this kind of pricing uh, the company faces what is the main benefit of affordability based pricing what is affordability based pricing so in case of uh, government schools the government wants to give education to everybody so it is affordable at government schools everybody everybody can afford it i mean i i studied in a government school and the fee was like 20 rupees per month i mean that was very affordable that's not an excuse that you cannot afford education in india it's very cheap you can go to a government college and you can do your graduation for like 2 3000 uh, rupees for a year yes that is possible even post graduation if you want to study you can do that in a very affordable manner so the correct answer here is it enables our customers to access the essential products or services that they otherwise couldn't afford so education if education is very expensive in india a lot of people cannot afford if food is very expensive a lot of people cannot afford but it these are essential services essential products okay what is the another name for differentiated pricing so what is differentiated pricing charging different prices for uh, the same product for example hotel room rent hotel room rent so if you go to goa right now the a room would be available for rupees 3 4 5 000 right now in the month of last week of december the same room would be available for like 12 to 15 000 so they are using differentiated pricing so pricing can be different for uh, uh, i mean it, it can be differentiated differentiated in multiple ways so time timing okay so for example timing the uh, classic example hotels right maybe for different persons the different prices are charged localities the price of coca cola in india is different from the price of coca cola in usa right so that is differentiated pricing okay so it is also known as discriminatory flexible or the multiple pricing okay what is the main difference between price skimming and penetration pricing so in case of price skimming the company is charging the high price high initial price high initial price because they have done a lot of r and d right a good example is iphones 
द प्राइस ऑफ आई फोन फिफ्टीन राइट नाउ इज रुपीज सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स सेवन मंथ्स वन ईयर एवरीबडी नोज एट इट विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपी सो राइट नाउ दे आर डूइंग प्राइस किमिंग सेटिंग हाई इनिशियल प्राइस स्टार्टिंग में हाई प्राइस रख रहे हैं बाद में कम कर देंगे वट इज पेनीट्रेशन प्राइसिंग सेटिंग लो प्राइस इन द इनिशियल स्टार्टिंग में लो प्राइस एंड देन रेज इट ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो अ गुड एग्जाम्पल इज जियो इन द बिगनिंग दे दे गेव इंटरनेट फॉर फ्री ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे इंक्रीज द प्राइस सो प्राइस केमिंग एंड पेनिट्रेशन प्राइसिंग प्लीज रिमेंबर द की वर्ड्स ओके absorption pricing is a method of setting prices absorption pricing what is absorption pricing so you are absorbing the variable and the fixed cost you are include both variable and fixed cost and then add a margin add a margin and that's how you find out the price of the product or service <coughs> in the absorption pricing there is variable cost there is fixed cost what is fixed cost to start a business even if you are not producing a single unit jo setup cost hai that is fixed cost for every additional unit of uh, producing a unit uh, in in your factory or whatever in your unit the the marginal cost that you are doing that is variable cost ek additional t-shirt banane ke liye jo kapda labor lagti hai that is variable cost so you add both of them and then add a margin you will get the absorption cost so this margin this is not साइंटिफिकली uh, कैलकुलेटेड ये uh, ऐसे ही कुछ कैलकुलेट कर लिया है इन एब्जॉर्बशन कॉस्ट इन इन द टारगेट आर ओ आई बेस्ड उस पर वो आएगा आके ठीक है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ओके मार्कअप प्राइसिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ सेटिंग प्राइसिस सो इन केस ऑफ रिटेल शॉप्स वॉट रिटेल शॉप्स आर डूइंग दे आर गेटिंग सम प्रोडक्ट लेट से दे आर गेटिंग अ सोप एट द रेट ऑफ लेट से उसको थर्टी रुपीज का बड़ा दे आर taking a markup of 20% on every product and they are selling it for 36 rupees so they are adding a percentage to the cost to find out the final price target rate of return that's what i was discussing target rate of return here there is variable cost fixed cost plus margin the margin is not calculated on a basis of any scientific method in absorption costing while in the target rate of return uh, pricing method there is fixed cost there is variable cost and now you are going to add the markup which is based upon roi roi based markup so that is the difference between absorption uh, pricing and the target rate of return pricing because the markup is decided on a scientific basis roi ke basis pe right so adds a desirable return on investment to the cost of product or service so that is roi is desirable okay what is the formula to calculate the target rate return price so it is unit cost plus desired rate uh, unit cost mein aapka variable or fixed cost aa gaya desired rate multiplied by investment invested capital divided by unit sales which of the following is an example of business that might use marginal cost pricing so airlines uh, most probably they are going to use pichle i guess question mein humne example mein bataya bhi tha वट इज़ अ मीन ऑफ मीनिंग ऑफ ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट सो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट का ये चार्ट आपने पहले भी देखा होगा सो देर इज़ अ फिक्सड कॉस्ट एनी वेज इफ इवन इफ यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग अ सिंगल यूनिट यू आर गोइंग टू स्पेंड मनी ऑन फिक्सड कॉस्ट यू नीड टू सेटअप द प्लान यू नीड टू सेटअप द मशीनरी एंड देन यू नीड टू स्पेंड समथिंग पर यूनिट मटीरियल लेबर सो दैट इज़ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड देन देर इज सेल्स दिस इज सेल्स ओके and this point where the sales and and the total cost see variable cost goes like this okay but you add the variable cost and the fixed cost it is total cost so this is total cost this particular line is total cost and that is sales so this point is known as break even point break even point is a point where is uh, at it is a situation where your company makes no profit and no loss so if you are making this much uh, sales this is your shaded region is your loss so if you are making this much sales then shaded region is your profit okay so please remember that the meaning of break even point it is a point where the total revenue equals total cost 
the formula of break even point it is total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit so i have already done break even point pay proper class i have done i would highly recommend it is also available on youtube and it's also available in the course just go through that you'll be able to understand it in a better way separate session is there break even point analysis pay what is the effect of increasing sales price on break even point it decreases the break even point agar aap sale price increase kar doge to aapka revenue per unit badh jayega you are decreasing the break even point okay what is break even point the point at uh, at which the revenues total revenues equal total cost no profit no loss okay uh, a point where sales line intersect with the total cost on break even chart okay i have already explained you the chart please check what are the two main types of cost that businesses need to consider while calculating their break even point so uh, there is fixed cost and variable cost and then usko intersect karwate hain hum sale se and that's how we calculate we find out the break even point agar sale break even point se kam ho rahi hai then there is a loss agar sale break even point se zyada ho rahi hai then there is a profit okay what is activity based costing so i gave you an example of bakery so please remember that again so cakes are there biscuits are there right so for 1 kg cake you need to bake it for 2 hours for 1 kg biscuit you need to bake it for 1 hour so uh, electricity consumed here is 20 rupees ka electricity yahan pe consumed per kg 10 rupee ka on biscuits so that is how you are allocating the the cost according to the unit according to the their uh, uh, their ex expenditures okay according to their activities so the method of costing that allocates the cost to the product based upon the activities that are performed to produce those products so jo bhi activities activities hai uske basis pe jo hai according to the activities costs are allocated what is the skimming pricing so a pricing strategy that sets high price on the initial सो आई फोन का एग्जाम्पल आई फोन स्टार्टिंग में द प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इज सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी ग्रेजुअली दैट इज डिक्रीज ग्रेजुअली दे आर गोइंग टू डिक्रीज वट इज सर्च प्राइसिंग इफ यू आर यूजिंग द सर्विसेज ऑफ ओला इन रेनी सीजन द डिमांड इज मच हायर देन द सप्लाई सो दे नीड टू यूज अ सर्च प्राइसिंग विच इज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स राइट so that's a pricing strategy that temporarily increases the prices during the high demand and lower supply what is the main goal of premium pricing so a lot of products are there for a, for example the rolex they want to maintain their brand of luxury product right that is why they increase they keep the prices very high so that everybody the the customers they perceive the that it is a quality product it's a luxurious product so that's a, that's in the mind of the customers what is the key factor that businesses should consider while uh, when setting tender pricing so uh, the cost of production the evaluation criteria the prices of similar products similar services in the market so everything uh, the what competitors are doing you need to consider that what is the main goal of affordability based pricing so that the target market can actually you know uh, get the uh, the the product the necessities can satisfy their necessities education is a thing food is a necessity usko affordable rates pe provide karwa rahe ho to make products and services accessible to wider range of customers who can cannot afford education agar bahut zyada mehangi ho gayi to bahut sare log afford hi nahi kar payenge to agar education affordable nahi hoti to ho sakta hai ki aaj main aapko yahan pe nahi padha raha hota क्योंकि एडुकेशन वॉज अफोर्डेबल आई वेंट टू अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल दैट वॉज अफोर्डेबल वेरी अफोर्डेबल राइट आई डिड माई होल स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन लुधियाना राइट आई मीन द फी वॉज ट्वेंटी रुपी पर मंथ इफ दैट वॉज टू थाउजेंड रुपी देर इज नो वे आई कुड कंप्लीट माई पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन सो थैंक यू टू द गवर्नमेंट एक्चुअली विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ बेनिफिट ऑफ अफोर्डेबिलिटी बेस्ड प्राइसिंग higher profits it, they are not trying to make high profits so that's not a benefit of affordability based pricing so students ibps so marketing 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes live session mock test interview preparation guidance links are available in the description 
uh, check the links and you can join their list of our successful students. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, this is my WhatsApp number 906720100. You can ask your doubts here. You can drop me a WhatsApp message and I'm going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.